Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man, and you're watching me play something about pies. Yes, we are here again on the new planet for pies, and we're going to head and tackle that red science today. Well, at least the start of it, because boy, oh boy, oh boy, there is a lot to cover for pies mods and then the science speaker. Whew, I don't know what I got my hands into, but. Uh, something about having to make Fuegi if something I I don't know I just have no idea but stay tuned as we go ahead and roll the intro we'll go ahead and tackle that Fuegi substrate issue that I've been hearing all about All right, guys. So we'll go ahead and um, tackle this new froggy substrate item that I'm hearing all about for red science today. Um, it actually um, might take longer than one episode to get to it. As you can see here, we need to make a froggy plant. Uh, now the froggy plant is made from water. It looks like, but uh, there is a process to get to that point. We have to make this Furugi substrate, which is from Furugi, <laughs> and we need a thing called coke. Where do we get the coke from? I don't know. That's what we're going to have to find out. Uh, this coal gas makes the coke, but we're going to have to make the coal gas from coal here, which comes from a destructive distillation column machine. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have a basic operation going here from the last episode. Um, and we're running out of coal already. Uh, we're going to have to ramp this up big time. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and run through basic operations here. Um, gets a little bit more iron online as well. And i got to keep an eye out for the pollution cloud which is getting ever so close to the biter base all right as soon as we kickstart some power that's going to be an issue <clears throat> um, I'm not gonna make the coal flower any bigger here uh, what we can do is clear out these trees and we can start getting some electric mining drills online <clears throat> and run power and run coal up to power here all right. <clears throat> all right. So we got some decent iron going. We got some decent copper and decent coal. Those are the three main things, and we have plenty of rocks for stones. Uh, so we want to proceed forward here. We want to make some of those destructive distillation columns uh, for the coal gas. But I don't know, like coke and foraggy. And the Fuegis are made in the Fuegi plantation, which needs soil. So, and soil comes from water, which is made in soil extractor. Okay. Okay, I think we got this. I think we got it. You think we got it? I think we got it. <laughs> um, so really quick, we're just going to make a small setup here, and eventually it will go big. Um we just want to get some basic science going that is the ultimate goal right all right so instead of running around everywhere let's go ahead and make some of these things so they do take a lot of resources to get to but that should be okay we do have the basic resources up here uh, so we should be okay let's make some power poles I need another electric mining drill Okay, and as we are handcrafting, we can pick up necessary items. Let's just throw all that in there. Alright, we are good with the power. Alright, we'll just make a quick circle with rocks and such. Alright, 
as our handcrafting queue is done all right we can go ahead and start Make it some electric mining drills with power. All right. And we're just going to run right through this borax for now. We should be okay with that. Making a lot of transport belts is what's going to be the name of the game right now. just want to run this all the way up to power so then we don't have to hand fill coal for power and then the coal line will be split for numerous things going forward all right all right so we did make a soil extractor let's see what this building is all about here all right so it's gonna Oh, it needs, okay, it needs water. So ideally we want to put this close to here, right? Okay. Soil extractor, so it's going to need a offshore pump. Probably a couple of undergrounds. Let's go ahead and get some more iron here. Okay, coal for copper. So the pipes are almost done. Let's go ahead and make some more belts for the coal. Mm. Sounds like a plan here. Right. I think we could just make a couple of straight pipes for that. pipes. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get filled up with coal here. Copper should be good for a little bit. Let's pick up some more coal there. And we want to run this coal belt up to power for now. All right. All right, so the soil extractor is going to take the water and it's going to split the soil from there. Easy enough. And we'll just bring the soil down for now. Using a power pole. And we don't have any splitters right now, fortunately. Uh, so I can't put this on the double side, but we can put the soil into a chest right now. <clears throat> that should be good for the soil, right? Science, yes, for the soil here. <clears throat> now, the Fuegi needs soil to make the Fuegi plantation here. You need 100 soil per plantation. Now, we're just going to make one for now. <clears throat> wow, 
hyper module level two already. Oh my goodness, these spiders are killing each other off. <laughs> oh, that's gonna, that's not gonna be fun for me. That's not gonna be fun at all. And this base is getting hit by the pollution, so we're gonna see brighter soon. We are going to see brighter soon. But it's important we get the science up and running. Um, so I need trees. I have the hundred wood already. The soil. It's pretty much just the soil I need. Okay, yeah, we'll just let the soil build up. And how to defend myself. I really can't. I can make some firearm magazines. With with iron. I guess that's going to be the start, right? Almost there. The soil. <clears throat> Just need five more of that. Uh, we're good with 20. Let's make 20 and 10 more just in case. Uh, the soil should be good to go there now. We can make our Foragi plantation. And then the Foragi plantation oh, just needs water again. Right? So it looks like we are taking a lot from water to make our items for red science that is at least okay and obviously with the basics basic factorial still in play so we'll have to make the green circuit production and the smelting columns and all that good fun dandy stuff yep <laughs> oh I'm excited so I don't, don't think I'm not. I am most definitely excited. Alright, so here's our Foygi plantation. Um, and again, we need water for this. Um, so let's just place this down. This is going to make the Foygi, and it needs water. So we're going to do its own pipe and pump. <coughs> That's hypo led module level three already. Oh my gosh, I can't even stop that from even happening either. That's actually not good. There's the biters. Ooh, the little. <laughs> They're tiny, tiny little things. Oh my goodness. And that purple stuff they dropped is the alien loot economy stuff. Um, small alien artifacts and alien ore, which we don't have access to do anything with right now. And I don't think there's any alien artifacts. So, um, items in the game. But we'll see. Took out my iron. Took out my iron. All right. Well, we'll get going with smelting again here, and well, we don't have any way of defending ourselves with turrets yet, so that kind of stunk. <clears throat> But back to this here. All right. So we are going to connect this to that right now, and we're going to grow some foraggy here. So it takes five seconds. And we get eight of them. Okay. 
seems reasonable. I don't know why I decided to do that at that moment, but yeah. Now this is just going to be a shared alley of belts until we figure out some kind of structure here. Now we can make a second one of these. to get some quick, uh, faster foggy. Okay. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm trying to get everything to come down. So we can have like a centralized location. <clears throat> Man, a hyper level is gonna be four soon. Oh boy, it's gonna be fast time. So again, we're going to put this in a box, and we'll just let it go. All right. So we have our first part of... Actually, no. We don't have our first part, because we need to make the Fergie substrate, which is Coke. So we need to make a dis... 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 dis destructive distillation column. That's it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know, Nexus, you're making fun of me right now. <laughs> watching this. That's if you're watching. Alright. <clears throat> he knows all about the hyper module levels craziness. Big biters and such. Yep. Uh, this time I'm tackling it all by myself. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to need this to make some uh, coal gas. We need the coal gas to make the coke, which is needed to make the foraggy substrate, which is made needed to make part of the productive coating, which is made, which is needed to make the sacrificial electromagnetic which is the red science pack. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> do I like a challenge? Yes, I do. And this is definitely indeed a challenge. <clears throat> so the soil, so the fuagi. <clears throat> now we need to make the coke, which is in this building here. Actually, we should go past the pickup of the Fofurgi here, right? Which will be here. And uh, we're gonna make the coal gas from coal here. Which, do we have access to long hand inserters? No, we don't. Okay then. Can we squeeze you in between two power balls? No, I can't. Alright. So then we'll bring you guys up here. Yep, we'll have to do this then. Make a couple of you, make a couple of you. In and out. Okay, you are going to make coal gas. And I need a couple of power poles here. It is going to need 10 coal and it's going to give me 30% of the coal block. It's going to give me 3 or 6 coke, 40 of the coke gas, and 50 of the tar. Now, the tar. not going to be cast vented out. What can I do with the tar right now? Um, tailing pond? Oh, I need some stone bricks to do that, huh? <clears throat> okay, uh, we'll go ahead and 
get some stone cooking in here. Okay. All right, here's our Coke, and here's our Foraggy. So that is indeed is going to give us the Foraggy substrate, which is made in basic producing of Foraggy fungus. Now, can I just craft this? Yes, I can. Okay. Because it's usually made in an automation machine, but we don't have access to automation right now. So, <clears throat> okay. And a glassware is five wood and eight iron plates. And that's pretty much going to get us the glassware for protective coating. Hyper module level four. Oh my goodness. It's going to be like 16 before I even start fighting the binders. <laughs> So this is not producing quick enough. So we are going to need to give you a little friend here for smelting stone into stone bricks. All right. And then we'll, what we need to do is make a tailings pond uh, so we can um, give out the uh, vent out the tar and then I guess we'll just make a gas vent to gas out the coal gas right now. Please release. Just took out all my <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Okay. That stinks, right? Okay, making those stone bricks. <clears throat> and we're going to need a tailing pond, and we're going to need a Plantation. Are we make? We're already making that. Okay. We have access to making wood processing also. Um, that just generates wood. I mean, we're gonna end up needing that anyway for red science. Uh, so we will have to set that up. But right this moment, we don't need it, which is good. Uh -uh. box for all this alien stuff we'll put go ahead and put it over here by power okay and then the foraggy substrate which is great and everything um, but it's useless until we can get some I guess we could just handcraft some glassware right Okay, and then from there we'll be able to make some protective coating.
coming over here to attack me again. Get out of here. Little rug nut pain in the butts. <laughs> Only at 35. Oh, yeah. Let's just knock it out of the park, right? Uh, yes, we can make the telling pot now. Whew. Okay, and this is only going to be temporary. Oh, I need one more. Alright, just to get the tar in there. And then the coal gas. Which we don't have access to tanks yet. Uh, so we'll have to just vent it. Eventually we're going to need it for um, the coal gas for uh, other recipes in the game. So he needs power. Okay. And then the tailing pond, I think, supports up to a thousand. Um, and we'll have to utilize that at a later time for things. Alright, but this with the grabbing some coke. Ah, oh, now we have iron oxide. Now we can use this to make an iron plate, which is great. Eventually we'll be smelting that too. Um, right, so we have the foragi. We have our coke to make our red science packs. Or the productive coating. We can make six of them. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some more iron. We do want to make an electromagnetic electromagnetism lab. Okay, so we'll do that. In the meantime, to let our crafting queue go, let's stock everything up with coal here. Okay, plantations up there are good. I need to do this. You okay? And you're done as well. Okay, so we'll just start with this then. Put you here. Okay. Our lab is done. Put you there. Now the lab is glowing red, which means this lab only takes one science pack, which is they're going to be the science pack. The first red science pack. It takes two of these to make one of those. Okay, and an electric magnetic core and electric magnetic coils. But that's okay. And we're going to need. For the first research, we're going to need 10 of them. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to do automation. So let's get that going. <clears throat> All right, Forgy is good. The soil is good. Power is amazing. So we get all the basics here for our red science. Now, all this added stuff is going to be um, the science tweaker, like I mentioned. And I like the twist. So, it should be interesting. Um, I think we should add two more to. This hyper hyper module level five. That's crazy. <laughs> we'll get some more iron going here. 
Um, we'll smelt some more stone. Which means I'm going to have to pick up some more stone. Now, the biters can't... Um, they can't expand, but they can grow. Their bases can grow, so that's something we have to keep in mind of. Alright, so we're going to add two of these, two of those, and fill them up with coal. I'm going to go ahead and put these 18 in here. And I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Something About Pies. I've been Eddie Man, and if you haven't yet, please go ahead and consider throwing me a like for the video. And if you want to stay with all things Eddie Man, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Again, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Factorio. And like always, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.